Morning from Danny at Diner Days. We've got something a little bit special in today. I'm hoping you guys like it because I certainly do. It is a mix of retro awesomeness and Honda power. So I'm going to show you what it is. I've just heard it start up outside. So it's going to come in on the dyno and we're going to do our health checks on it and make sure that everything's okay. We're going to plug in, do some diagnostics, running the K Pro ECU. Let's give you a bit of an idea. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this today. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, you can watch it up, man. Well, here she is. Check out that. What a car. Gary's at the front of the dyno cell watching him up. Then you gain sort of 10 at the top end, but at the same time, if you've still got that smaller torque, you don't make it. That's the it's actually, you actually worse off. Yeah. If you're two and a half plus, then you'll be all right. Yeah. Sorry, that's a funny nightmare. Okay, so uh, this is our base file as we start. Richard is confirming that the fuel pressure is correct. He's got his spanners out.
Well, that was fantastic. Seen some flames coming out the back of it. It's made some power. I'm a happy boy. I love my French stuff. Uh, those of you who have known me for a very long time know that French is where it's at for me. Um, old, old school French stuff, obviously. I always had Renault 5 GT turbos and Renault 21 turbos, etc. But this is obviously a little 205 Peugeot with, obviously, a K-swap. And it's done all right, ain't it, Richard? You've enjoyed mapping this one. Yeah, went quick and simple, which is always nice. Now, I noticed that you uh, adjusted the fuel pressure this yeah, morning. Yeah, fuel pressure was on two and a half bar, but obviously, you know, you can't be 100% sure whether the, you know, whether the gauge is correct. Sure, or sure. Whatever. So, did an initial pull on this car this morning with a good file that we know we got, and it was running a little bit lean, so we feel that the fuel pressure was down. Okay. Um, and the cruise fuel was a little bit lean as well, so we've uh, adjusted the fuel pressure and set that. Uh, that's pretty much it as regards to anything we've had to touch. Yeah, that it just um, went, it was plain sailing with the mapping, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Using the K Pro system, uh, yeah. which we've done lots and lots of. Um, yeah, yeah, wicked, man. I love this. I can see myself in the one of these. I think it's a dollop of death. A dollar per day. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. Obviously, when you hit something, it's going to fold up like a deck chair. If you, if you, <laughs> if you, if you hit a manhole cover, you mean? Yeah, hit a manhole cover and then you're upside down in the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were designed... That's what the, that was the fun of them, mate. That was the fun of them. Wait, you were going to tell me it was designed to kill you? It was, yeah, it was designed to. Um, yeah. I mean, the fact that you can steal them with an old teaspoon is uh, yeah, it's well, neither here nor there. You that, with a teaspoon, can't you? Yeah, but what a car! I absolutely love it. It's uh, it's made it certainly made my uh, made my month. I think it's uh, it's retro. It's reliable. It's fast. It's going to be fast. It's got to weigh about seven hundred kilos. Um, it's it's going to be fast. What what a whole load of fun this is going to be on the road. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Which is exactly why I like working here. Well. Some say I don't do any work here, but you know, I do like it. When you say work here? Spin around on my chair. Mm. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, okay, well, another one in the bag. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz if you feel it. Uh, do drop us a comment. I'd love to know if you've got something retro uh, tucked away somewhere. Let us know what you're working on. If you've got a K-swap, let us know what you've swapped. Uh, I've got a K-swap myself, as you know. Uh, also a little red car. Uh, weighs a bit more than this one, though. Um, but yeah, but I've got boost. So just blowing my own trumpet there. But yes, drop us a comment below. Um, and thanks. And we'll see you on the next one. Hey, Rich. Wow. We'll see you on the next one, won't we, mate? We will indeed. <laughs>